Hey guys, what is up, the Neo Chemist here? Welcome to Epis. Sorry, bruh. I, I am kind of nasally, but I'm not that nasally, okay? Yeah, my allergies are getting me, man. I actually mowed for the first time yesterday for this season, you know, because you don't mow during the winter. But anyways, welcome to episode 11 of my Skyblock Let's Play on my very own server, Neo Network. Oh, come play it today. Works on both Java and Bedrock info, and IP is down in the description below. So you remember in the last episode, we were working on this little lapis thing. We got it done. We're working on our, our on our mining area down here. We got that done. I did do a ton of mining, as you can see by my sky coins. 360,000 of them. Look at all the coal blocks. Look at all the coal. Lots of coal. Now the lapis got filled up all the way to the very tippity top, which is a very good thing. I actually even, you know, had so many, so much lapis that it was filling up my inventory. So I had to allow these chests to hold lapis as well. Now the reason lapis fills up so quickly is because when you mine this much, like for example, I now have mining, or I now have fortune nine, and you can get it up to fortune 15. And that's just by crafting the super pickaxe, and the more blocks you break, the higher your fortune goes. So you're like, well, Neo, why the heck do you need so much lapis lazuli? And that is because we need to be making... If I can type, we need to be making mm, XP farms. And now XP farms are kind of difficult to craft, so I'm going to do most of it off camera. But basically, you need 16 enchanted lapis, plus a super XP bottle. Now, let's just go in here for a second. Let's just be like, okay... So how much is a super XP bottle? Okay, well for that, you're gonna need an advanced XP bottle and you're like, okay, well uh, an advanced XP bottle, oh, okay, how do I make that? Oh, a bunch of enchanted lapis. Basically what we need to do is make a ton of enchanted lapis. And uh, you're like, okay, well, well how do I make enchanted lapis? Uh, where is it? Enchanted lapis, right here. It's 16 lapis per thing. So we can make four if we fill up every slot in, in, in a crafting table. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy a little bit of wood. I really am sorry, man. My voice is never usually... Oh, I was like, where'd it go? My voice is never usually nasally, but like I can't fix these allergies, man. I've tried everything, dude. I've, I've tried Benadryl and then I fell asleep. I've tried everything, man. Um, also, I'm a moron. You don't need that. You're supposed to use slash M craft. <laughs> And you can just shift click everything in here and then you get enchanted lapis and that's four pieces now can you imagine the struggle i'm about to endure i'm going to do this for the next 20 30 minutes and i should come back with an inventory full of enchanted lapis see you then okay guys well i've spent the last 15 minutes or so just crafting enchanted lapis i don't have an entire inventory full but both of these double chests are empty and in, in this entire, like, obviously this entire line would leak back into this chest. They're both empty. So if we do, like, l l l let's go back up top. And then I believe we put some lapis in here. I don't know how much of it we use. We probably use quite a bit to make the minions. Oh, yeah, we have a lot of blocks in there. But we also have our servants themselves. They should have a ton. At least that's the hope. So let's go over here and check it. Oh, yeah. And if we do slash masteries, I don't think I showed this. If we look at our lapis mastery, it's way beyond the top tier. It says we're on tier 12, which doesn't even exist. So that's how good we are. Um, but yeah, we just need a tier 10 for the XP farm. Now, you can only have five of these XP farms. And you bet yeah, we're going to build a really cool area for them. But they require basically... So two stacks of lapis plus a super XP bottle and then the super XP bottle is just like It's insane, dude. It's it's not actually that bad, but like it's gonna be pretty bad <laughs> to craft this uh, How much XP does one of these have 500,000? Wow, okay, but yeah, if you collect your servants um, And then you go into overflow you can see that like the lapis they have um, Actually not that much. I thought they'd have way more did I had already collected them or something recently? I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep crafting the enchanted lapis. Just wanted to give you an update. Um, I don't know what kind of area we're going to build. Maybe we could put the XP farms on top of that thing and make it look nice. Or we could build like a scale enchantment table. I have no idea. We'll figure it out. So guys, a little pro tip. Um, when you're in your mastery crafting table, if you just like do the thing where you pick up an item, hold down shift, and then double click to like move it from one inventory to another, like all of the same type, actually works just fine. Uh, but yeah, this is the last of our lapis. I took everything from the overflow. This is all the enchanted lapis from like 
40 double chests worth of lapis. So, I don't know how much we can craft with this, but I assume this is quite a bit. So let's go and delve into the Masteries menu here, and let's... I'm gonna figure out how much of everything we need, because I want to make five XP farms. And that would require... Oh my gosh. Hold on. So that's two stacks of these per XP farm, so that's just for the XP farm. We don't even have a close enough for that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is gonna have to be a long-term project I work on off camera because we can barely make one. Because gotta keep in mind, we still have to make a super XP bottle. So let's go in the shop. I believe in the miscellaneous section. Nope, okay, well you know what? It's it's pretty easy to, to make them. So we'll just buy a stack of glass like this. And we'll make a few bottles. Now, I think we only need like one for now. So we'll go to M Craft. We'll put a bottle in here and then we'll just surround it and surround honestly we can just do it like um no i guess you, okay so if this ever happens what you need to do go back to m craft put it in here and then hold down one and then shift click it in there okay so now we can make a basic xp bottle then you need an advanced one and then you need a super xp bottle you can also might as well make a lapis rune while we're in here if you do slash masteries and then you open your rune pouch you can put that in there and that provides a 2.5 percent chance of double lapis drops which we really need we have a super xp bottle now and so the last step is just put it in the middle surround it by enchanted lapis and you need 16 on every slot and you have yourself an xp farm that literally took that took 15 minutes of lapis to make one xp farm you gotta keep in mind, they give you 50 per minute. Let me do the calculation. I believe it's 360,000 per 24 hours, but let me just calculate it, hold on. Actually, I believe that 360,000 per day is if you have all five, but let me calculate it based on one. One second. Yeah, so one of them is 72,000 per day. Multiply that by five, and you get 360,000 per 24 hours if you had five of them. But for one, you get 72,000 a day, which is just XP, it's just XP in your pocket, and you literally don't have to do anything. So what I say we do is instead of building a building for it, I'm gonna despawn these guys because we do not need them anymore, um, like at all. Um, I actually had, I, I got some pet eggs last night and apparently there's something also, like Masteries on, on Neo Network is crazy because I, I, was, I was opening some pet eggs and I realized that because I have my coal mastery at tier eight, um, that means that we, well, tier seven gives you, increases the drop rate of pet eggs by 1.25% or 1.25 times, which is 25% increase. So that one's, first of all, is amazing. But there's one in here, uh, the one that's purple, it says 50% chance to receive another legendary pet when opened. So I opened like something that was a legendary pet, like, like, like I opened a pet egg, the only thing that gives you pets, and I got two legendary pets um, instead of just one. And yeah, dude, it's just, you wanna, you wanna get your coal mastery out. We don't even need the coal minions, I guess, because I mined so much. We don't really need minions for anything except maybe like ancient debris when that comes around. Um, because if you look in masteries with ancient debris, there's multi kill six, treasury six, and miner's dream six. And you have to remember on our pickaxe over here, you can see that we have most of those enchants. We have treasury, miner's dream, um, and then we have multi kill five on here, but you can get up to multi kill six. So that's definitely something we want to work on eventually. We don't need it right this second, but we want to work on it eventually. Um, and these are just kind of phantom blocks. You can just break them. So we'll put one of our XP farms down like... I say we put them right here, 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 and here. That would look kind of cool. You have received 50 XP from your from your XP farm. Nice, dude. I wonder if there's a way to toggle that message on or off. Because if that pops up all the time... But again, like if that's something we could change in a future season, like or that's something we can change in a future season for sure. What is going on? How how did how did how did you get in there? They're trying to run away. Oh, I accidentally clicked. That's my bad. Okay, let me buy some colored blocks to fix this. Okay, fixed you are. Then we can also go in the shop <laughs> and buy chess. Thank you guys for helping me out with that. I'm I'm so mad I didn't know that before. And we'll just put our lapis. Oh, that's right. You can't put them in a chest. We just learned that. We we're putting them in our PV2. Now, you can use slash clear inventory, but make sure your inventory is completely empty. We're going to work on a better way to get rid of them next season. 
Yeah, it looks like it comes up every time you earn 50 XP, which is great and all. Is there a way I can, like, turn that off? Hold on. Yeah, there's not currently a way to toggle it, so while we're recording, I'll just put it down here because I don't want to have to edit out that noise. Um, but yeah, it'll definitely be fixed um, in next season, which is in a long time because this season just started. But I'm talking about, you know, as I play through this, things that I see that we can definitely improve on. If you And if you have any more suggestions, leave them in the Skyblock suggestions on the Neo Network Discord. Link is down in the description below. And if you ever have problems, you can make tickets there. I handle a lot of tickets myself. And uh, yeah, so we need to solve our money problem. We have literally no money. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, we're going to have $9 million in here. So I'm going to withdraw that. And then I am going to sell this stuff by hand because I don't believe we have a sell wand. Yeah, we used it. Wait, why is there, why is there nether quartz in there? And to be fair, we can also sell everything else that we mined last night. Um, like all these diamond blocks and stuff. But I don't really know, like... Honestly, you'd think that's a lot. I mean, that's like a million. Okay, that's actually a lot. <laughs> I was, for some reason, thinking that wasn't as much as it was. And I mined for probably like three hours straight. That's why we, That's why we have so many sky coins. I'm going to IS deposit. I'm sorry for my nasally voice, man. It bugs me too. But I, I mowed when it was really dry and it kicked a lot of stuff up. And I don't remember if I already said that or not. Uh, but it absolutely wrecked me. I'm going to increase our crop growth rate. That feels like a really good investment. Is there anything else around 100,000 sky coins? Oh, this one's 50,000. That one's 100,000. So now we have a little bit better chance of finding pet eggs. Okay. This looks like the rest of the emeralds. So I'm going to go through here and just sell things that I know are valuable, like gold blocks and, and just stuff like that. Because some of this stuff I know is not worth a whole lot. Also, do we have daily... Probably need to have an inventory space open before. Do we have daily spinner? I can't remember if I used it last night really late. Um, yeah, we have to wait till tomorrow. Okay. A whole double chest full of diamonds. It just seems, it doesn't seem real to have so many diamonds, but I did mine for a long time and I do have fortune nine. So that def, oh, there's definitely no lapis. And then the coal, uh, yeah, that's not worth very much at all. What's going to be worth a lot and what's on the rotating shop right now? Cactus! Let's go! Okay, cool. Plus, we have that triple sell price mastery for cactus. So now, a whole inventory is worth 150k. Which is quite a bit of money. So, I'm going to... Especially when you have this many um, chests full of it. Honestly, I, I kind of want to convert this thing to just purely auto sell chests. Because it kind of sucks having to like... But how many auto sell chests would, would we need for that? If we go into IS... Or our PV1. How many auto sell chests do we have? Okay, we have seven. If I wanted to make this thing, first of all, I need to get rid of all these. I know, you're probably like, Neo, how is your computer still alive? Don't worry about it, man. I, I, I got that NASA computer. I got that NASA on me. Look at that. Look at that. It doesn't even look like it's getting any smaller. <laughs> Luckily, you don't have to move your mouse. If you set it right, you just do slash sell and then, oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm going to do this for a while. We should come back with a lot more money and then we're going to make this thing a fully automated money generator. Now you have to keep in mind that the auto sell chest at this current state and time only gives us 80% of the sell value, but you can upgrade it to eventually be 100% and I believe the chest will sell like every 60 seconds. Right now it sells every three minutes, but I think we already have four of them. If we were to put down seven more, I'm fairly confident that would be able to keep up with our current cactus production, but I am gonna be making it bigger this episode, so maybe it won't keep up after that, I'm not sure. But yeah, you're not gonna miss much. I'm literally just gonna be doing this for the next little bit. So, I'll come back and we'll see how much money we have. Okay, so all of the chests are removed from here, um, which means that these guys are gonna be filling up with well, to be fair, okay, okay, to be fair, I think these four auto cell chests already handle this amount of cactus farm because the buffer was completely full, right? Which meant these chests basically didn't matter. And it was only these four chests that were handling literally everything. Also, what the heck is in here? So that's where all the hoppers were. <laughs> they were just in a chest sitting here. That's where literally all of our hoppers were. That's great. These are also all going to be full of, uh, 
These are all going to be full. So we're going to break all these. I'm basically just going to redo this entire system because like currently it's not that it's bad or anything. Also, we got to make sure we're picking up these auto cell chests. So we cannot lose these. Dude, please pick up the auto cell chest. No, I picked it up and I threw it down. Please let me get the auto cell chest. Bruh. Okay, there we go. So we have two of the auto cell chests. I just want to make sure we pick up all four because they're kind of valuable. You don't really want to lose them. There's three and there's four. Okay, let's go in our PV1 just to ensure they don't go anywhere. Okay, 11 auto cell chests. So I'm going to go ahead and clear out all of these hoppers. And we're basically going to make this system just a completely automated system. Selling it by hand is okay. But like since auto cell chests this season use your mastery, there's really no point once you get the top upgrade. And while I don't have it yet, I don't even have a cell wand. So selling this by hand takes way too much time. So I'm gonna break all this by hand and I will come back in a bit and we'll make a nice auto system. Okay, well once again, we gotta find the middle of these four chunks, which is right here. And we gotta put these crop hoppers down once and for all, hopefully. I think what I'm gonna do for now is put a crop or put a chest kinda in each corner. Like, so this is like, you know, there. Basically the four crop hoppers are gonna be right there and I'm putting a chest right here, an auto cell chest. And then all we're going to do, this should be pretty easy because I, I think these four will be able to keep up just fine. At least that's my, my, that's my thought process right now. If it can't, it can't, but I'm pretty sure these will be able to. Okay. And so that means that each one of these will now be filling up. We'll check on these periodically. We're going to be working on the cactus farm today, but uh, yeah, that seems to work just fine. Kind of a rudimentary looking system compared to what we had, but what we had before was just, I don't know. I don't want to sell them by hand. I, I want automated production of money, and that's going to be our best bet here. So our cactus farm is pretty much lacking comparatively. Like, everyone else in the server has so much bigger farms now. Someone has a 36-chunk cactus farm. Someone is building a 64-chunk cactus farm. That's right, 64 chunks. That is 8 by 8 chunks. Ours is... Ours is two by two, and I thought it was big for some reason. So what we get to do also, you know what? I'm I'm not I'm a not very smart man. I don't have any cactus. Like I literally have no cactus now because we don't have any buffer chests. So if we want to expand our cactus farm, that means we need to like temporarily route the cactus into some sort of. You'd think that I wouldn't have forgotten something like that. That's that's kind of a big oversight on my part. Oh, we have 15 more crop hopper. Wow, okay. That's actually really cool. We could have a crop hopper going into like each chest if we wanted to. But I think for now, yeah, I think for now what I'm going to do is since I can buy the chests in here, this makes it so much easier. They're only 128 bucks a piece. All I'm going to do is just take away the auto sell chests and just literally put like normal chests and just for right now okay this is just for right now because we just need all this cactus to expand the farm wow i cannot believe i just <laughs> sold all the I mean, we have 37 million dollars but that was kind of a bad idea and we also need to get string so if we go to home home which is at the top of my island somewhere i believe we have spider spawners which makes this so much easier and if you want to visit my island you just have to do is visit and then the neo cubist and you can come on here and check it out but yeah, I'm going to get a ton of string real quick. Okay, so I've been spending $1.5 million per inventory full of sand. And you can see we have three stacks of sand. I killed a bunch of the spiders in my mob grinder area. And we have almost three double chest, not three stacks, but you know, three double chests full of sand. Almost three double chests full of string. And now all that we're waiting for is the cactus. Now, unfortunately, you know... It is a fully AFK, but it's not as much cactus as you would think, right? Like, each double chest has what in it? Like, I mean, it, it's a good bit, but I'm gonna have to sit here for like an hour or so just to get enough cactus. So, let's AFK, and I will come back in an hour, and then we'll do a nice time lapse of building um, the cactus farm up. I'll just do it completely on replay mod. You guys don't wanna, well, you don't wanna watch me do that, I promise. Um, but yeah, it should be pretty cool for you. It's gonna happen in a snap.
Okay, well, as you can see, we about doubled it in size. And uh, while doing so, it took me about an hour of straight placing cactus. My hand literally hurts. I feel like I'm getting carpal tunnel. And you can see that the chest up there must be full because none of the cactus is being collected anymore. So we only ended up using like a double chest of each material. So we still have a lot of stuff left, which is fine. Um, but I wanted to go to home, home, or actually I think we have IS warp chest. No, okay, we'll just do home, home. Um, I'm curious to see, actually, before I do this, how many layers did we, did we add? It was one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so we didn't quite double it. We like made it 90% bigger or something or five sixths bigger. I'm bad at math, so I don't know what that is. But these chests are for sure all the way filled up now. Yup. So let's go in our PV1. Let's get our normal stuff out. I am not putting any more cactus down for a while. That hurt my wrist so bad, dude. And then I'll sell this real quick. Okay, that's all taken care of. We'll go to our PV2. And we're going to see, I am not confident that these four can now withstand uh, how much cactus is going to be going in them. And obviously, some of the cactus that's appearing in here, I think, is like a backlog of the hopper. So I'm going to take it all out so we have a fresh start. Like, yeah, that, that was definitely a backlog. Um, okay, so now this is how fast it works per chunk. So pretty quick. It didn't move there for a second, but that's just RNG for you. This one's at 22. I would be curious to see how quick they are if they were all like connected to one. Maybe we could do that if we just like break these two. So if we put them facing this direction and then just like broke this auto cell chest and then just had this hopper line go to here. Okay, so now this is all of the crop hoppers going into one chest. Look how much cactus that is, dude. Isn't that wild? So that's how fast our cactus farm works now. We can get about a stack every 10 seconds or so. That's pretty incredible. Okay. Well, obviously, we're, we're not going to keep it like that because there would be no point. Um, that would be an absolutely terrible idea. So we're going to make sure and reverse all these crop hoppers to go back into their respective auto cell chests. And then put one auto cell chest back. And if we need to add more, we will add more. I will monitor this bad, bad boy. And uh, make sure it's working because maybe near the end of the video, we'll come back and we'll see if it is, uh, you know, completely clogged up. But that should make us more money than we know what to do with. Okay, so now that that's done, let's check. What are we going to get from our lucky block? Anything crazy? Looks like more crop hoppers already. We got three vote keys, three basic enchants, another crop hopper, two ore hoppers. Jeez, dude. I swear we're going to have stacks and stacks. Maybe we should start selling them. I don't know. I think I have three vote keys. No, I have four vote keys in here. I should probably go vote again, but I don't honestly know if I can. I'm going to take all of the vote keys out and our pedal keys. We also need to collect all of our IS missions. Like, we just literally have not done that. I don't know why, okay? I just forget. Okay. Hey, three? Bro, do you know how much this is worth, dude? I'm pretty sure that's the highest one. Bro, a haste three book going for 18 million. 10 million. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, we'll do auction hand one million. Let's say cheap haste on slash AH. And then if we look at AH, you can see $1 million from the Neo Cubist. Did someone already buy it? No, more things just get listed so often. Um, if I wanted to sell my vote keys, are people like selling vote keys at all? Like if I just search a vote, it's like a whole market on here, man. Whole economy to learn. So about a million a piece. It's not really worth selling it to me. Unsteady arrow three is just, that just sounds like garbage. So let's go ahead and do what we should and recycle it. Okay. Now this haste three is not great. So what I'm going to do, since I have about a hundred thousand XP is I'm going to go to enchant. I'm going to re-roll it because I don't want it. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll it again. It's not good. It's success chance is now 1%. Hey, yo, that's really not good. It's only about, I think it's yeah, 20K XP each time. So we could do it, a, oh, success 83%. Okay, now what you wanna do is go to enchant, enchant <laughs> shop or enchant and then buy these bright scrolls. We don't have enough sky coins. Okay, what is the percent chance? 
Uh, I'm gonna take a chance. Huh. They successfully applied. Let's go. We got haste three. Okay, so the thing about the haste enchant versus like the uh, IS upgrade haste, like this one that's on IS upgrade, is that that one, the island one, is on constantly. The haste three that's for your pickaxe kind of comes on and off randomly. So you can see like right now, you see how my tool is swinging like super duper fast. That's because right now it's working. At least that's how it was in season one. I haven't had to see how it's kind of like back to a normal speed. Now it's like super fast. I don't know. It's kind of random. At least that's how it was in season one. I'm not totally sure if that's how it is now or, or what the deal is. But that either way, dude, that's like actually pretty dang cool. I can't believe we actually got haste three like that. Well, okay. Oh, and we just found a pet egg. And yeah, it's a glow squid pet. <laughs> that's not great. But yeah, I definitely recommend getting your mastery up for Cole because this uh, 1.25 times chance uh, of to, to get like the 1.25 times increase in drop rate of pet eggs is huge. So make sure you have that. I'll uh, just go mine a bunch of coal. Let's go to the crates and let's use those real quick. Okay, so we have one petal crate. So let's see what we can get from that. Hopefully something decent. Yeah, a little Skycoin booster. Nothing to snuff at. And what do we get out of the vote crate? Something decent, potentially. Okay. Ooh, not bad. A little bit of sky coins. And some value blocks. Cool. So I don't need the sheep spawners anymore, so I'll go ahead and just uh, kind of throw them on the ground. See if somebody wants them. Um, I will be keeping this booster for sure, though. Yo, what's up? No, I don't want Lily Pat. I do appreciate the offer though. No, 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 I don't want it. I don't want it. This is why I go home. Okay, I just go. Get out of, get me out of here. Get me out of here, quick. So one thing for grinding mobs that I haven't really done a whole lot of is there's this IS upgrade for mob drops. Now, mine's at level four, so I guess I've upgraded it a little bit. But you can eventually get it to 10 times, so we probably want to work towards that. Uh, but to get sky coins, we're gonna need to farm more. Uh, because honestly, the only thing that's really lacking at this point is our farming masteries. Like, we have zero. We Okay, we have sugarcane mastery number one. That's great. Oh, yeah. Um, so, th the way to get a lot of sky coins from farming, you can see at the very bottom, the purple one that says triple the amount of sky coins earned from sugarcane. That's tier seven. So, we may want to make some either sugarcane minions or just start, you know, actually mining sugarcane. Because we haven't even unlocked the farmer's harvester, man. We're, we're, we're kind of far behind. <laughs> we really need to get that. I'm not sure why we haven't. Um, if you look in the IS missions, too. Like, the personal missions, the one we still have not done is this one. So, maybe we should work on some farms. Um, but I did want to claim a bunch of missions. Because I can promise you... Okay, also, next season, we're going to add a claim all button. Because it's insane. Like, sometimes... There's so many, you're gonna forget about them. Like that's just that's just the way the cookie crumbles. So let's go to our island missions. And we completed all of those. Let me just make sure. We'll go through all of these because we may get some really nice sky coin rewards. In fact, I'm I know that we have not claimed a few. There we go. That we just got 50k sky coins for something. We may even get some really good crate keys as well. Okay, we just got some enchant books. And again, I'm seeing that by looking in the top left corner or bottom left corner. Um, it'll pop up in chat if you win something. Or not win something, but you, you, you know what I mean. If you were to get something. Okay, already completed. I think we're on. Yep. Oh, there we go. Monopoly. I don't know what that gave me. 50k sky coins. <laughs> I'll take that. Or wait, Monopoly. Which one was that one? Oh, 150k XP. Nice. Okay. So this is tier five. Okay, now to tier six. There we go. We just got 75k sky coins and another booster. We just got a million dollars and a 2x 2x XP booster. There's um, another a million dollars. Now let's go to tier seven. I don't know if we've done no. We haven't done any of these, but we're getting close on some of them. So all these rewards. First of all, we got Miner's Dream two, Remedy four. I mean, none of those are really good. So we'll just go to Enchant. And we will throw those into the old recycling shop. So we got 247k XP, another auto sell chest, which is just, I don't even want to talk about it, dude. We have eight auto sell chests. Oh my gosh. Okay. Cool. Okay. So the missions are somewhat complete. I don't really want to build more farms right now. I just spent so long building 
uh, the cactus farm up, but let's go check on our auto, auto on, on our auto cell chest. It's a tongue twister. So they are definitely keeping up. I don't know how full they did get before they sold. Um, I assume there was no backlog because when, unless they like just sold. So we'll have to keep checking on them, but so far it seems to be working fairly well. I'm gonna have to kill these chickens one by one. Get out of here, dude. Get out of here, dude. Go. Bye. They used to. Oh, there's. T <laughs> you know what? Sure. You can hang out here, buddy, as long as you're having a good time. He's uh, living life from another angle. So, I'm going to do the exact same thing that I did all around this and just put. glass and concrete around the whole thing <laughs> sorry it's like literally impossible for me to talk when i'm doing that because it's very loud but yeah glass and concrete's gonna go around this whole thing i won't even replay mod it it's super easy super quick so i'll do that and come right back normal egg what okay guys well what i did essentially was i took everything in those chests and i made a little buffer room down here where we have all the materials for a cactus farm including the frame around it and I am going to make this kind of high tech, I think. I'm going to take a crop hopper, and I know you may think, well, Neo, isn't this going to cut down on production? Well, no, not really, right? So my idea here would be to go behind these chests, like in this direction. Now, if we do F3 and G, you can see this is in <clears throat> another chunk. So what I need to do is break like a, break like a cactus up there. And then put a crop hopper going down. Hold on. This is going to be a little more difficult than I thought. Basically, I want these three chests to always be filled up no matter what. And I think that if the hoppers are faced like that. And then we were to. And these are not the hoppers. I'm just using these as a building block because I'm kind of goofing out a little bit. Okay. And then we put the crop hopper like. Well, it's so hard to get the angle. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's get... I'm just gonna buy some random blocks to build with. Sure, we'll just buy $22,000 of dirt that we totally don't need. And then I will put the crop hopper right here. And so hopefully that'll pick up anything in that chunk. And then keep in mind, it's not like a lot or anything. <clears throat> but it will still be enough for us for when we're building the cactus farm. That means this one will always be, what's this? That means it'll always be filled up, if that makes sense, right? So this crop hopper takes from this chunk, puts it in this hopper, and then goes down this line of chests. Something like that. Hopefully that means whenever we go to build, obviously they're, they're full right now, but the hoppers sh themselves should be filling up a little bit. At least the bottom hopper should be, but it doesn't have anything in it. Wait, what? I did this right. Maybe it's because the hopper up there is taking precedent and it doesn't know which hopper to put stuff in. That has to be it. So will, when will this crop hopper ever even work then? I don't think it will. Unless that other one gets full? Hmm. Either way, we'll leave it. It can't hurt to have it there, but it's nice because, you know, our cactus up there doesn't have any chests anymore. It's fully automated. Um, which I can always add a few chests up there too if we need to. But yeah, I just figured I'd give you a little update. I just have this nice little, I don't know, little buffer room right here with some cactus and stuff in it. And it looks pretty cool. I made it in the theme of the rest of the thing. And now I get to take this glass. Uh, maybe not all of it. And a lot of the lime stuff. And we get to go have some fun. Building the frame. And deleting these chests. Yay! Okay, well, all that is good. I'd say the island is looking pretty good. Um, I don't know why we have the speed effect. I don't... Oh, yeah, IS beacon. Did I somehow re-enable that? You have enabled speed. You have disabled speed. Maybe it's from something else. There is an envoy happening right now. So I'm going to put everything in my inventory. 
I'm gonna go to warp PvP and we're gonna see if we can get one. Probably not. I don't know. Do I have my armor on? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go down here and as quickly as we possibly can, we're gonna try to get one. Will it happen? Maybe. It doesn't look like there's a ton of people trying to get them right now. Okay, 1.5 times Skycoin booster. I'll take that. Don't mind if I do. Did, oh, that one just got taken. No. I love the odd voice, but they get taken so quickly. Black Market Dealer is not here yet because it's not the top of the hour. It's 7.22 p.m. for me right now. Yeah, that looks like all of them. Um, We'll see if... Can I start a fight? Probably not. I, d I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll just give them my loot. If they really want to kill me for it, they can. I'm not a big PvPer. Like, I'm really not. I'm just not very good at it, and I always lose, and I just don't want to deal with it. Yep, okay. Well, it looks like this was pretty cleared out pretty quick, which is just pretty much how it always is. Okay, back to the island. Ah, nothing like home. Well, I think we've had a pretty productive day. I know the episode wasn't super long, but we did do a ton of stuff. We got our XP farm, which again, I have in here in a chest just because it makes a little dinging noise and I need the devs to disable that or add a setting for it. And then it also pops up kind of a little bit above the hotbars. It's not like a huge deal, but while I'm offline, I'll have that thing running. I'll try to make four more, but you got to keep in mind, that's going to be like quite a bit of a, uh, quite a bit of XP and stuff like that. Quite, quite a bit of lapis and stuff like that. And that's going to take a while to get. These things are not backing up at all, which I'm so happy about. If I was to look in my IS bank, how much do we even have in here? I already got 1.64 million. I'll go ahead and take out a little bit of this. Don't mind if I do. Now we have $37 million. I want to go shopping. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to look on AH. Is there anything really... Uh, that's really expensive. I want to get a cell wand, man. I swear, I need one so bad. It's just like 100 uses for 20 million seems so expensive. Like that's 265 million, but it's 10,000 uses. Like I would buy that totally if I, if I could afford it. That's 100 million. Yeah, really? Selling a, an eight use cell wand, 13 of them for 1.5 million. Ah, these are just so overpriced. Like there's no... There's no rhyme or reason for that. I mean, that's just the that's just the free market, though, man. I mean, things are going to be priced what people think they're worth. But when these don't sell, hopefully prices will drop because this is insane. A hundred use for six million. Let's let's just see if we make it back. I'm just going to buy it. I just want to see if I can make it back by selling everything in here. So uh, it cost us how much? Six million. So we're starting off with, and this is a good way to record these numbers. Just do slash. So the server thinks you're trying to do a command. Press enter, and then you can press T and go up. So it was 31 point. So we need to get to 37 million. So let's go ahead and let's just see, because this is a 100 use cell wand. So is it even worth it? <laughs> Not even close. Now, granted, some of these are going to have a few more things in them, and they're going to have to trickle down, but, like, I guess I did take out all the diamonds and stuff like that. So maybe it's worth it, I don't know, but we only have 86 uses left, so let's just, uh, let's just put this in our PV1 and pretend we didn't buy it. Maybe it was a bad investment, I'll admit it, but I'm not totally sure. Maybe at some point it'll be, it'll be worth it, but I don't think so. Note to self, do not buy those. Not a good idea. If you break your lucky block all the time, I mean, you're going to get enough. I'm pretty sure we can break our lucky block again if I were to go back home. And let's see, I think we can clear out most of these signs. Finish mining hopper sort system. Done. Did that yesterday's episode. Done. Haste pickaxe. We don't need them for all ores. I do have one for lapis. Add new farms. We do need to do that. Change out cactus mini for coal minions. I don't think we need coal minions because our coal mastery is already so high. Make a mega smelter. That's something we could do today. Hmm. And I would... Uh, I hesitate because, like, what do we really need it for? But you know what's cool is that you could use ore hoppers to make it fully automated. So you could have all the coal go into the ore hoppers, which go into furnaces, right? Uh, so, or, well, super furnaces. And then have those immediately go into this chest system maybe a little bit over complicated seeing as how we don't need to smelt anything because we have molten oh no 
Where's my real pickaxe? Oh, I thought I'd lost it, dude. Wait, what? There's my pickaxe. I was like, where'd my pickaxe go? These things honestly just need to be thrown away. They keep giving me a heart attack. I'll, I'll, I'll just kind of accidentally get them. And it's like, I do not need those. We could go to D-Boss. That's just something we really haven't done. Um, we don't really have good gear either, but we could enchant some gear. And maybe do some D-Boss. Maybe we'll do that in another episode. I think this is going to be the only other episode this weekend. I think we're going to do a two-episode weekend. Um, my herbalism does need to be increased, though. That's one thing I've just been neglecting is farming, man. I just don't want to build these giant farms. <laughs> oh, I am very happy about this, though. I am very happy about this. Well, I think that's it for this weekend. Thank you guys for watching, first of all. I really do appreciate all of the amazing support we've been getting. Absolutely tons of views, tons of new subs, and tons of new players on the server. So I'd love to see you around. Keep in mind, if you only have Minecraft on your phone or whatever, you can also play on Neo Network. It's the exact same as on the computer, but just on your phone. Um, so that means if you're on a console, you can play basically anything that supports Minecraft. We support it. We're both Java and Bedrock fully cross compatible, which is pretty cool. Not a lot of servers do that. And we care about our Bedrock users, okay? We implement a lot of changes, a lot of quality of life things to uh, make their experience just as good as Java. Thank you guys for playing. And you can find all the IP and stuff down in the description and top pinned comment below. And including the Neo Network Discord, if you ever have questions or tickets or anything. If you have any problems with the server, go in the Neo Network Discord, make a ticket, and I will personally take care of it. Or one of my staff team will. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next week, and we're gonna be we're gonna be grinding quite a bit. We may we may do a stream during the week where we build some more layer farms. I'm not totally sure on that, but we definitely need more farms. Like we actually need other farms. We had already bought the IS upgrade for waterless crops, which is where is that? Where is waterless crops, dude? I swear. Where did it go? I don't know where it is, but we did buy the waterless crop upgrade, which was super, super helpful. So anyways, I will see you guys next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys then. Secret code is going to be 8012. So put that down in the comments below if you want to show me that you watched the entirety of today's video. I will see you guys later. Bye.